Hey guys, welcome back. So first, check this out. Looks cool, right? So in this video, I will be sharing an easy method on how you can set up custom live wallpapers on your Mac. So let's get started. Let me first show you my system specs. So I have a MacBook M2 Air and I'm currently running the latest macOS Sequoia 15.3.2. In order to set a live wallpaper, first you need is a good live wallpaper for your Mac. For this, you can go to your browser and search live wallpapers for Mac. You will get a list of couple of websites that you can use to download high quality live wallpapers. My personal favorite is Pinterest. But for this guide, I am using the Disney intro video that was available on YouTube. So this is my downloaded video clip, which is currently in MP4 format. Our first step is to open any browser and search MP4 to MOV. You can visit the first website Cloud Convert. Now click on select file and select your mp4 file. Once the file has been uploaded, click on the convert button to convert this mp4 file to MOV format. This is a very crucial step because the default file format for live wallpapers on Mac is MOV format. And most of the live wallpapers that you have downloaded from the internet will be in the mp4 format. So once the file has been downloaded, save it to your desktop. I am keeping the name as final.mov. Moving on, click on your founder. Now click on go on the top panel and select computer. Here you will see your primary hard drive. Double click on it to open it. Now you have to go to library and look for application support and double click on it. Here you will need to look for com.apple.idealassetsd folder and click on it. Now click on customer. And here you will see a list of these folders like 2K HDR, 2K SDR, etc. The live wallpapers that you save are kept in 4K HDR 240fps folder. Just open it. You will see that this folder is currently empty. Now keep this folder open. Right click on your desktop and click change wallpaper. Here under the landscape category you will find a list of default live wallpapers from Apple. All you have to do is download any one of them. You can see a downward arrow, meaning you need to download them before you can use them. Just click on any one of them to start downloading. As you can see that the downloading has started and it will take around a while once the download is complete. For this testing, I am currently downloading the Sonoma Horizon live wallpaper. You can also click on show all and download the one you want. This might take a while. In the meantime, let me show you the Disney wallpaper that we will be setting up as our live wallpaper. So once the wallpaper is downloaded, you will see a file with a random name in your 4K SDR 240fps folder. This is the exact same file that Apple has downloaded for us for the Sonoma Horizon wallpaper. You can now minimize your settings. The next steps are very crucial, so watch it properly. Now click on the Sonoma wallpaper. With one click, you will be able to rename the file. All you have to do is copy the exact name of the file. Now move your Disney file in the same folder. You can simply drag and drop the file. Now type in your password to confirm the move. Once the file is moved, I will reconfirm that the exact name has been copied. Once you have copied its name, right click on it and move it to trash. Now rename your final file and paste the name that you have copied. So 
what we did here is we copied the name of the Sonoma live wallpaper file and replace the exact name to our live live wallpaper video. Now again, right click on your desktop to change the wallpaper. Select the exact same wallpaper that you downloaded in the above step. Once done, you will see the first frame of your video as your current wallpaper. So this is all. Now to test our live wallpaper, I will lock my screen and there you will see your live wallpaper. Now, here are a few things that you need to keep in mind. So for now, Apple doesn't support custom live wallpapers. So this method is just a workaround and it comes with some shortcomings. The first issue with this trick is that once you lock your screen for the first time to see your live wallpaper running on your lock screen, once logged in, your desktop will turn into black. What you can do is just ignore this black wallpaper. Now, if you try to lock your screen again, Apple won't recognize this live wallpaper and you will only see a black screen. But if you restart your Mac, you will see that the live wallpaper is working again. If you lock your screen for the first time after restart, this live wallpaper will work perfectly. But if you try to lock your screen for the second time, this won't work until you restart your MacBook again. So these are a few shortcomings that comes with this method and we hope that Apple will allow their support for custom wallpapers in the next macOS update. I will also provide a detailed write-up tutorial that you can find in my video description below. If you face any issues, you can comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more ticks and ticks. Thank you.